small, delicate, intricate, love it. <laughs> control, give me all the control. <laughs> Hashtag Virgo, what can I say? Right, lovelies if you know me you know I love a good makeup brush especially eye brushes there's just something about finding that perfect shape that perfect feel and so I am glad to have you here with me today to talk about the new mini refer eye set because I as you all probably well know am team small brush team small brush y'all I feel like there's no such thing as too small of a brush as someone who has hooded eyes and honestly is a little bit of a control freak I just like that definition, that delicacy, that precision that you can get from a small brush. So I was very excited to see that Refer was bringing out mini versions of their most popular eye brushes. Now, I'm sure you all know that they also brought out a, what did they call it? Max set? Mm, I think that might be it, but a larger version. That's not for me. So I did not grab that one. I'm all about the small. <laughs> Give me all the small, but I'm sure that people who love having a big, beautiful brush are going to really enjoy those. So we're gonna do a dive into that today. Now, of course, we need to use some eyeshadow, right? So what I thought I would do is pull out my Sydney Grace Loves Journey palette because I've had a lot of requests for people looking for looks with this palette. So I thought that doing a few looks with this palette would be a great way to not only showcase some looks with this palette, but also we'd be using these brushes with an eyeshadow formula that I know and love and I know what to expect from the performance of. So that's what we're gonna get into. But if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, before we dive in, I do want to say I'm going to do my best to utilize chapters down below for all of you that are maybe here for one or the other, maybe you're really just looking to get some deets on the brushes, maybe you are mostly here for the Sydney Grace look, so you can kind of check the chapters down below. Now the day that I'm filming this, the sets are sold out online, but I heard that the brand is going to be bringing them back in limited quantities for the November price drop. So I got an email from the brand saying that they're gonna be doing a limited price drop and that you should kind of consider that as their Black Friday deals. So I will make sure to have this link down below. And since we're talking refer, what I'll probably do is put in a few of my other refer favorites towards the end of this video. And of course I'll have those linked down below as well in case you wanna check any of those out. I will also say that uh, they will be affiliate links, so I will earn a small commission if you shop through those, but all of the refer brushes I have, I have purchased myself. All right, I did also purchase this myself. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna zoom you in so that we can take a look. Uh, again, we'll do close-ups of the brushes and I will give you my thoughts on how they perform. I'm really excited for this. Now, first, I just wanna talk a little bit about the eyeshadow palette. This again is Love's Journey from Sydney Grace, one of my favorite indie shadow brands. I picked this up in the Christmas and July sale, so I have been using it for a while and I know that all the shadows perform beautifully. So I thought this would be a good one to pull out for this brush test. I think what I'm going to do for these looks is I'm going to start out doing something light, simple, just really, you know, kind of seeing the blendability. So I think what I'm going to do just for a little funsies is do a, you know, kind of light everyday look, and then I'm going to change it in two ways almost for like day to night. So options here. And you can see if you haven't seen this palette before, I think we have a row of those like warm neutrals. I wouldn't necessarily call these like dead center neutrals because I do think we have a little bit of like a khaki vibe going on, but then we have these pewtery taupey vibes down here. So you have a wide variety of tones and depths in here. So I'm gonna have fun with this one. So that's, I think, what we're gonna do. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the brushes because I am really, really excited to try these out. So what we have here are five mini shapes of the standard sizes from Refer, and they just picked out some of their best sellers for these sets. I'm really excited to give these a go. As you can see, they are brand new. I have not used them yet. Uh, I will say that the other brushes that I do have, I have had for a while, I use them a lot, and they do have some staining. They are all clean, but they are a little bit stained. So we're gonna go in right now. We have, in case you haven't seen the details on this set, we have the one, 
the two, the 13, the 14, and the 15. And within here, we do have a couple that I just absolutely love in the normal shapes, or not normal, it's not like these are abnormal, in the regular shapes. <laughs> okay, so these are also denoted by the little mini on the end here. So you can see here, this says zero one mini. So I will grab the zero one brush because I do have that one. And I will be honest, this is not a brush that I use a ton because it is so big. So I was really excited to get a smaller size of it. You can see it is definitely a similar shape, but much less fluffy and fat. So here you can hopefully see you've got a difference in the width of the brush and sort of like the chunkiness of the brush if that makes sense. So I just find for the number one, what I mostly use this for, if I'm gonna use this brush, it's probably gonna be for like a wash of a one and done, or maybe I'm just doing a really blown out matte, and then I'm going through with just like a very soft shimmer. The other thing you can use this brush for, the other thing that I use this brush for is for like a cream shadow, just a quick wash. And I think that I'm just gonna get a lot more use out of the mini because this, you can really get in and like lay down properly product, but it does have just enough fluff to it and tapering that you could blend this out a little bit. I do think that this is mostly going to be a lay down brush for me, but I'm really going to use this one much more than the other uh, number one. So I think we will see. Now let's take a look at the number two. So the number two is going to be a really standard lay down brush. You know, you're going to be able to use it for shimmers on the lid. I think you can also use this for cream shadows. Now for me, I find that this actually picks up shadow fairly well because some of the bristles are a little shorter on the sides. So you just have that bit of uh, texture to be able to pick up shadows, but you can see how this is much smaller and so you can get much more delicate. So if you're just wanting to put on a little bit, like maybe you're going to do a fun look where you have several different shimmers on the lid or you are just looking to get like a really sharp line, I think that this is gonna be really, really nice. The brush that this actually reminds me of a little bit, I have this little uh, travel set from Sonia G. It reminds me of this flat definer. It's not quite the same shape. It doesn't have quite as much taper, but you can see here, this is obviously the Sonia G. So similar, just not quite as tapered along the top but I'm very, very excited to use this one. So I could see actually, I mean, I probably don't need any more like little baby brushes like this. I probably didn't need these brushes in general, but I could see having a couple of these for like nice, delicate shimmer work. Like, especially for days like today when I've done some of my complexion before I go through and do my shadow, I sometimes find that with something like this, I tend to get shadow down on the lower part. You know, like I'm trying to just get it on my upper lid and this brush is so big that to try to like get into the inner part of my inner corner, like my inner lid, sometimes there's just carryover and then I end up putting it on the bottom and that might not be what I wanna do that day. So I think this is gonna be a really nice delicate brush to use. All right. The couple brushes that I have from Refer that I really use the most are the 13 and the 14. Now I have the original design of the 13 from the like a uh, secret shop, you know, like the testing. So they have changed it at this point. I feel like, I don't know if it's, if they changed the shape or if mine is just really splayed out, it could be because like I said, this brush has gotten a lot of use. But for me, I like the fact, so you can see here, this was the OG 13 and then this is the little mini. So this is such a wonderful crease brush. If you are looking again for something for hooded eyes, maybe you're using a darker color and you're not wanting to get too carried away. I like the fact that this one actually seems a little bit more tapered. This one doesn't have that. And I, I don't know if it did and now it's just getting kind of splayed out. Maybe if I reshaped it it could it could work but this I think is just going to be such a multitasker because I could see using this brush almost as a soft blown out under eye I mean again you can like really get into the outer corner it's it's just going to be a great multitasker so really excited for that one now for the mini 14 I do have again that same original packaging with the silver ferrule I think that this is a nice option because it's not too much smaller but you do get a little bit more precision and I'll pull up the 13 mini as well just so you can see so you can see that the 14 is a little bit longer and it has a little bit more of that pencil tip to it. So that's the 14 and this is the 13 from the mini. And then this is the original 14 shape. So I just feel like I can't have too many of these types of shapes. Like 
I just, I just find that it's so nice. If you are ever trying to, you know, play a little bit with color, if you're maybe trying to play with a deeper shadow and you just find that it's like getting too much and it's getting too dark and you're like, oh my gosh, that went way further out than what I wanted it to. I really recommend taking a smaller brush like this and laying down that product, you know, like that darker color. And then you can go in with a bigger, fluffier brush. I mean, honestly, even like the number one brush and just kind of like blur out the edge and start buffing it out that way. You know, it just kind of like keeps everything a little bit more controlled. I probably could tell you that in the tutorial, but that's fine. <laughs> just gonna give you all those things now. So the last brush that we have here is the number 15. And I was searching through my set and I don't think that I have the original 15. A reason for that is probably because it's a big brush, right? I mean, if this is the mini and the the regular size is 30% bigger, it's just like gonna be a beautiful standard blending brush. A, I have a lot of those and I just find that I don't reach for those a lot unless it's for what I just said, like where I've laid down a delicate amount of color and I'm just looking to blur that out and soften the edge. So a lot of times I'm just using those like to buff everything out or just, you know, like almost like an eraser to kind of blend a harsh edge. So this is, this is going to be perfect for me. I think that this, you know, if we look at the original uh, 14 compared to the 15 mini, I think that they're similar though, you know, like this one is just a little bit bigger. So I don't know, depending on your makeup preferences, you might not find that you need both, but I think this is going to be a fun one to play with. Yeah. I think that they're similar, but this one is just a smidge bigger. So with all of that being said, I just wanted to give you a quick little look at the brushes. I know that a lot of people have probably done comparisons already, but that's just my initial thoughts, my little mini take on all of these shapes before we get into it. But now we're going to go ahead and put some eyeshadow on. All right. So here we go. Like I said, for this first look, it's just going to be something very, you know, standard, easy, sort of like everyday makeup. So to start off with, just to kind of like set the whole area, I like to do that on days where I don't really want to have to think too much because for me, putting down a light amount of powder first is going to help everything blend out a little bit more and I'm not looking for like dramatic saturation. So I don't care if it like softens the end result of a color. So I'm going to go through with In My Heart uh, in the second row here. So let's just go through with the 15 mini. And I'm just going to, again, like lay this down through my entire crease. This is sort of just going to be like the foundation of the look. These brushes are really nice and soft. I find that Refer, you know, especially when they have their brushes on sale, the prices are really good for the quality that you get. I will say I mostly have their eye brushes. Uh, just because, you know, they are real hair. And I just find, you know, for my complexion, I use a lot of creams and I personally prefer to use synthetics for creams. So I just find that, you know, I'm not buying a lot of natural hair brushes for complexion, but I have really enjoyed, I think I have a couple refer ones and the ones that I have, I've enjoyed. Here we are. So what I'll probably be doing throughout this is sort of talking through one side with you and then I'll just finish up the other side on my own. There's no need to see both of those, but you can see that this went on really quickly. I mean, you saw the complete workings of me popping that shade on this side. Now I find that all of the refer brushes pick up product really nicely. I don't have any fallout, which is, you know, both the brush and the formula of the shadow. And I think that it just blurred out really easily. So that could just very easily be like one shadow on, put on a shimmer and you could be out the door. So this is really pretty. So now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take that mini 14 and I'm gonna use that on my lower lash line. So let's for now just take that same shade that in my heart and we're gonna use that on that lower lash line. Again, just to create like a soft blown out under eye. I do really like to have a little bit of shadow on the under eye just to help, you know, it it sort of opens up the eye if it isn't like a really dark shadow. And honestly, it just kind of helps soften any wrinkles that you have if you have something darker there to just sort of like camouflage. So I, I almost every day wear something on my lower lash line, even if it's just this much. Also, just a little tip, if you have downturned eyes like I do, you can try making the line here less thick and making this uh, spot here a little bit thicker. And I mean, just like by like a millimeters difference, because what that looks like is it sort of upturns the eye right here without having to like wing out shadow incredibly. It almost like gives you a little bit more dip on the inside and then kind of like pulls that up. 
Okay, so just for a quick wash of lid color, I'm gonna go through with the shade Kisses. I actually don't know, looks like I've maybe used this one once, but I don't feel like I've dipped into it a lot. The one that I use the most is this Lovesick shade, so tasty. So <laughs> we're not gonna do that today. That's like my standby, so we're not gonna use that one, at least not right now. So let's go through with Kisses. I think just for a wash of color, because this is gonna be a little bit softer of a lay down than using the Mini O2. So again, this is the Mini O2. I think I'm just gonna go for a wash of color with the O1. And while I'm looking for a soft wash of color, I am gonna be wetting my brush. I pretty much always wet my brush for like 99% of my shimmer. So I'm just using a little bit of Fix Plus. Also, as I'm sitting here, I've got my little latte right, right in the like stream of that. I wonder how much Fix Plus I've drank in my life at this point, just looking over and wondering, hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. So I'm going to start on the inner part of the lid, but not too far in because hopefully, oh yeah, see, I can I can get in here. I can get in here with this one. This is nice because it is, it still has enough of a taper to it that it's not going to, you know, be too hard to get in. Like even with the original O2, that one's a little bit fatter and obviously the O1 I would never do this with. So this is gonna be great. So I'm just going to lay this down and then once I have product everywhere, I'm just gonna wipe off this brush and I'm just gonna tilt it on its side and go through and just buff out that edge. But first I'm gonna do the other side. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my microfiber cloth. I just got these in like a pack of like, I don't know, maybe even 10. And I just have one set at my vanity and I use a new one every few days. Uh, this works really well just to get off some of the excess shadow. And also now my brush is relatively dry again. So now I can go through and just tip this to the side and just use this to kind of buff out. I find that when you use a wet brush, you tend to get a bit more of a harsh edge. And you know, I know that that is all the rage for doing like really Instagram worthy makeup. It just isn't my aesthetic. I tried, I tried for a while to get into that. And I'm like, no, nope, I just like something like blurred out, whether it's dramatic or simple. I just, I just like blurred out edge. I mean, this look would honestly take you two minutes. It would take you two minutes. So I think that this is a really great way to start. Let's go ahead and add a little inner corner. We're just gonna go through with Wistful. Honestly, that is the only inner corner in this entire palette for me. That is a little bit of a bummer, but it is the one that is here. So I think we're actually gonna take the Mini 13 and just use that. This will actually be a really great inner corner brush. You know what I'm just realizing? Is I think I said that the Mini 13 would be the good little pencil brush for the under eye, which it will be, but even the Mini 14 worked. Talk about multitaskers. Oh, it also bears mentioning that for my inner corner, I'm just using the shadow dry. With a very like molten shadow, like Sydney Grace has a thicker formula, I don't like using it wet on the inner corner just because it gets a little too, I don't want it to say textured because it not, it's not like it looks like wrinkly or anything, but I just like something a little softer here. It just gets to be too much. So unless I'm using like a very shimmery, and I mean like by having lots of little microflex of sparkle in it, I just tend to go in with a dry shadow. I just find that that's what I prefer. Otherwise, if I go through with something wet, I'll go through with it and then I will still buff out the edges with a dry brush, just like we did the lid. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara just so we can see the finished look with this one and then we'll do the other two looks. All right, lovelies, it's been a hot minute, like literally a hot minute. I am like getting roasty in here under the sweater. Uh, it is not time to be wearing a sweater this thick yet here. <laughs> anyway, I did film another video and a little reel. You'll see here that I have on a little blush and a little lipstick. We did a whole other thing, but now we're here to do our nighttime looks. So I really think that this day look came together so quickly. I think it is very, very pretty. These brushes just like made everything blend out really quickly and no worries at all. So we used some light shades. So, you know, we didn't exactly put them to the test. So we are now gonna get a little deeper, a little more sexy for date night. And honestly, this whole like taking a look from day into night is a thing that I think is very reality. I know I have times where like maybe in the morning I don't have a lot of time to get ready, but I do have something going on later in the day. So I will just quickly put on something for work that I know I can like add to and zhuzh up for later 
later in the evening. So for me, this is something that I definitely do. So I think what I'll do is just do like a quick little upgraded glam on one side and then maybe more of like a halo eye situation on the other. We'll see as we get in here. So to give this palette justice, I have to use this Love Sick shade. It is just so pretty. It's the one that I've been using the most. So we're gonna grab her for like enhancing this look on this eye. So now we're gonna go in with the number two mini into that Love Sick shade. So, so again, I've wet my brush and I'm just kind of adding to this like halfway through to, so like the, you know, the inner third of the eye, because I'm not too worried about the outside. I'm gonna end up adding a matte there anyhow. And the nice thing about this little mini is I can get behind my lashes and get in here pretty well. So, you know, sometimes you get like eyeshadow all over your mascara. I do plan on probably like popping out a little extra just for that nighttime look but if you don't wanna like add a lot of extra mascara and you've gotten powder all over your lashes, it just looks ridiculous. So it's nice to have a smaller brush. So that's just gonna kind of like enhance, give a little bit more depth there. So now we're gonna take the mini 14 and I'm gonna dip into this yummy brown here. This is the shade Mad Love. And I'm just tapping off a little bit, but then I'm just gonna build this up from the outer corner up into my crease. Like I said, if you're someone that's a little bit leery of wearing dark shades, a small brush like this works really great. And if you have hooded eyes, one of the best things you can do is just look straight into the mirror and almost like draw where above your hood you need that color to go. Cause this is, I mean, it's almost like a pencil. Like look at that, right? Wow, did I just look cross-eyed in the camera? But it's probably a cute thumbnail, not. <laughs> so you can draw right above your crease and then you kind of know. So then I can kind of like lean back and fill this all in, but I'll know I have it up high enough to where I'll be able to see it. You know, sometimes you do all this work and get this like balanced blended edge and then you like relax your eye and you're like, well, now that's hidden. I can't see anything. So I'm really just kind of like etching this in and it's, it's definitely blended out on its own, but if you really wanted to, you could go through and take that 15 and just buff the edge here. You could either use it on a naked brush or grab a little bit of that in my heart shade, the shade that I had in my crease before, and just kind of use that, you know, to kind of like get that edge. So we're just gonna build that up as dark as you want it or as light as you want it. Just helps give that little bit of enhancement now that I have that as deep as I would like to have it, I'm gonna take that same shade and run it under the outer third of my lash line on the lower part. And I just want it to kind of connect with the shape that I'm building in that outer corner. And then for just a little bit more intensity, I'm gonna take that original inner corner shade, which was wistful, and just pop a little extra right here and I'm using the 13 mini again. Now, if you have a lighter, cooler skin tone, you could also use this shade to give a little brow bow. I'm like trying a little bit, like I'm just worried that this is gonna be a little cooler than what I would normally want. And then I can, I'm just gonna like blend it out with my finger. Actually, let's take that number one mini and we'll just use this to kind of like dust over that area. So there we go, that's just a little bit more enhanced, you know, if you are someone where maybe you have a job where you just don't feel comfortable wearing like deeper glam makeup, this isn't like the deepest of the deep. I'm, I'm gonna go real deep on this side. <laughs> We're gonna get into a lovely smoky look, but I think this is definitely, you know, it has that little extra ba-bam. It was more about using the brushes for the techniques and hopefully giving you some inspo. So now let's get a little extra cool on this side. So for this side, we are gonna be using these shades that are in this bottom row. I am really excited to dig more into these. And like I said, I think we're gonna go for a bit more of a halo eye. I think that's gonna be fun. But for the first shade, we're taking Only You, which is the like darker, more pewtery, taupey shade there. And I'm gonna use that same too mini. And I did, by the way, just clean it off in between looks. So I'm gonna put this on the outer part and the inner part. Now I can definitely get in with this little brush without touching my lower lash line because I definitely do not want this dark shimmer all over my lower lash line. So you can see, I left a good bit of area in the middle for that lighter shade. So we're just gonna flip the brush over and we're gonna use the lightest, which is Captivating. 
So this is definitely that like lighter. It actually has, you know, almost like a definite like purpley taupey vibe to it. So I think this is gonna be really pretty. I haven't used this one yet. So I'm glad to be doing this video and getting to play more with this palette with all of you. So I am gonna start in the middle so that we can like load this up. The shade isn't quite as sparkly as the one that we used uh, in the last look. It's a little bit more satiny but I do like the color that this one has. So just taking that and I lay it down and I am kind of going like just above my crease with these shades here. And then once I get all of that color placed, then I just kind of like tap both of the sides and I might even flip my brush back over to that other side and whatever is left on the brush, I feather that in to sort of like soften it and you know, give a little bit more of a blend. I don't need it to be like paint by numbers, right? Okay, so I think I'm just gonna actually take my finger and just pop a little bit of that Kisses shade just over the very like center, just to give it like a little bit of, again, really pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna take the shade Us, that is the deepest smoky shade in here and I'm taking the 14 mini, and I'm just going to run this over the top of that area with the shimmers really lightly, like ever so lightly, and I'm laying down that shade. So let me tell you, this brush would actually probably make a really good like um, cut crease liner it's doing a pretty darn good job. Or even if you've done a cut crease and then you wanna like come along and soften the edge of it. So right now this is looking a little bit sharp, but that's what I want because I wanna lay this color down, but I don't want it getting too carried away. So now on the outer edge, I might build it up just a bit more and a little bit more on the inner corner. Because I do want it to be most intense on the inner and outer area, we're creating that illusion of like a very rounded eye. Only so round. I still like, you know, a little bit of like a winged out look, but that little bit of roundness. Okay, right there. So then I am going to go back into that blender, the 15 mini, and I'm gonna take that dreamboat shade, which is that lighter shade, and then very lightly with my hand down towards the end of the handle just to get very light pressure. This is where I start to just do some back and forth very delicately to blend out that edge. Now, I will be honest, this is not a look I would normally do with other face makeup on. <laughs> like when I'm using dark shadows, I am going to do eyes first and then any complexion, but we're here, we're here doing it. So I think that that just blended out so nicely. It's a soft halo eye. I mean, there isn't a lot of contrasting difference in these shades. So it's not like it's like that crazy, but it's enough. So now we're gonna take the 13 mini and we are going to take the darkest shade. That's that Fools in Love. So it's not quite a black, it's like a deep, kind of charcoal-y shade. And I am going to run that on the outer part of my lash line. So I'm using the 13 because this is the smallest brush and we're going to make sure to keep this really concise. And then once I have that done, I'm taking the mat right next to it and just blurring and moving that all the way over to the front corner. Okay, since we are working with some really dark shades here, I did just pop down some concealer because I definitely felt like I got a little bit of fallout, which, you know, blending dark, blending dark shades is maybe gonna happen. So I'm actually taking the 01 Mini and using that as my concealer brush. And I'm just kind of like tapping that in and just getting this cleaned up just a little bit. All right, here we have our final two looks using the palette and of course the brushes. I have to say these brushes really worked well with these 
deep shades to be able to get that like gradient. I think that this is beautifully blended. I mean, obviously I use shadows that are known for really blending out pretty beautifully. And I really like this. I did leave that inner corner very soft because to me, a halo eye is really all about like having the attention at the center of the lid. So if you use a really intense inner corner, not that you can't do that, but it's sort of it's like the eye doesn't know where to look. You know what I'm saying? So I really like both of these. Okay, now let's zoom out. I'll talk a little bit about the brushes and I am also going to share a few of my other favorite refer brushes with all of you. Okay, lovelies, you'll have to let me know what your favorite look was. I, I really liked all three. These are all three looks that I would wear any day of the week, absolutely. So let's talk about this little mini set. I'm sure you probably already know just from the looks that I was able to create and you know, just my thoughts throughout the video. I think that this set is great. I really, really love the set. I don't think that they're gonna be launching these individually. I think it is just the set, but I think there isn't a brush in here that's a dud. There really isn't a brush in here that I'm like, oh, I wish that one wasn't in there. Now, the only thing that I will say is I don't necessarily think that the 15 mini or the one mini are necessarily like incredibly unique shapes. I think that these are available in other brands, but they are very high quality. They were super soft on the eye. They blended beautifully, but it, for me, it's these three that it's like, yes, small, delicate, intricate, love it. <laughs> control, give me all the control. <laughs> Hashtag Virgo, what can I say? Okay. So I really enjoy these. Now I will have all of the sale details linked down below along with the links, but I do want to share with you some of my other refer favorites in case you want to take advantage of the sale. But now I do want to share with you some other favorites that I really enjoy from the brand in case you were going to be shopping the sale. I do have to admit it's going to be Kelly from tomorrow because Kelly right now has an appointment. She has to get two rock and two looks, two amazing Sydney Grace looks. So I will now be inserting a clip of me showing you those. I will probably just give a little quick blurb on each of them so that, you know, this video isn't 12 years long. But for those of you that are gonna cut out right now, you just had interest in one of the other two things that we were talking about today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Uh, for those of you that are gonna stick around for the other brushes, I hope you enjoy. If you are enjoying or did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a like. It really does help me. Y'all, we small creators are out here trying to fight the algorithm. So please help out by leaving a comment or a thumbs up. Your interaction really does help us. All right, that's my little spiel. That, that's gonna be it, but thank you so much. And now we're gonna get into those other brushes and I will see you really soon. Hi. <laughs> so uh, here I am naked faced with all of you because I just got the email from Refer that, or maybe it was on IG. Anyway, I just got a notification that the Refer sale is going to start tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow. So this is literally the day after you saw previous Kelly. Uh, I had all these plans to like, whatever, it's a whole content creator thing. But I am sitting down at late o'clock to share with you some of my other favorite brushes from Refer, and we'll talk a little bit. So I will also, if there's anything that's similar to a size in the mini set that I just featured, I will give you a comparison so that you can see in case either that brush set isn't in stock or maybe you didn't want the whole brush set or for whatever reason, your little makeup brush loving heart desires. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. I am gonna talk about the two face brushes that I have from Refer. I think I did mention in the beginning of this video that I don't really have a lot of face brushes from Refer. One of the big reasons being that I use a lot of cream products and I just prefer to use most creams with synthetic brushes. That is honestly mostly because I am just I just like easier cleaning and I like to be able to like really get in my brushes, especially as a makeup artist, if I'm working on someone, I really just wanna like super duper clean and know that I can, real hair brushes, you just have to be a little bit more delicate with. So I'm gonna share with you the two that I have. This is out of the two, if I was to pick one of these, this is the one that I would pick and this is the number four. The reason I would pick the number four is because it is a total multitasker. Like you can see by this chiseled shape, by the way, it is dirty, my apologies. You can see by this chiseled shape, you could really use this for contour. You know, you could pop it this way and be able to blend it in. You could use it for blush. This actually does work really well for both creams and powders. It's a really nice brush. It's fairly soft. It's not the softest, but it is fairly soft. And of course it picks up product really, really well. That is something I will say. If you have products in your collection that you find just don't pick up as well with your synthetics, I find that natural hair really is great at picking up product. So if there's like a blush that you have a hard time getting much impact out of or something like that, 
this might be the way to go. Now, the other brush that I have is the number five. This one is actually a little bit softer. Yeah, just a smidgen softer in feel. Now, obviously the 05 brush is fluffier. It's, you know, a little less densely packed and the shape is more rounded, whereas this one is more chiseled. Also, as a proud member of Team Small Brush, this is just the one that I choose most of the time, but this really does make a very nice powder blush, powder bronzer, you know, it's just a nice product, but I have a lot of cheek brushes that I really like. So it just kind of depends on what kind of shape you like. There are people who just love a big fluffy brush, you know, it's going to like apply maybe with a little bit more ease. So I like them both, but this is the one that has my heart. I don't think that it's necessarily a must have, but for the price and the price drop, it might be worth it to have in your collection. Okay. Now we're gonna get into the eye brushes because this is really where I have some that you will see by how many I have purchased because yes, I've purchased all of my refer products. Uh, you'll see by how many I've purchased that I really like them. So we're just gonna get into those right now. Let me pull them all up. Uh, I have more that are dirty. I have more that are dirty, but I'm gonna show you these. So I have three of these and this is the Refer 21 brush. So this brush I really like, let me get it in focus here. Come on, the camera's as tired as I am. So this brush I just find is really great for picking up those eyeshadows that tend to just not wanna pick up. There's just something about this that does really well. I just find that this does really well for those products that tend to have a little bit more sparkle too because there aren't as many there isn't as much fluff to it, there's less likelihood of that kind of kicking off onto your face. Do not get me wrong, if you're using a flaky shadow or something that has tons of sparkle, if you didn't wet your brush or you didn't use a tacky primer, you're probably gonna get a little bit of fallout. It's just sort of what happens, but these tend to eliminate that as much as possible. And I like the fact that this has a small enough size that I can get in here fairly delicately. It's not the smallest brush, but it definitely isn't the biggest brush. Uh, let's go ahead and compare it to the two mini. So just so that you can see the size difference there, the two mini is obviously much smaller, but they are about the same thickness. So there's that for you. The other brush that I have quite a few of, where did I just lay them all down? <laughs> the other brush I have quite a few of is the 28 brush. So this might look actually quite similar to the 21, but this one does have a bit more fluff to it. It's, you know, a little bit more chunky. Now, Ruffer says that this one is good for liquids, creams, and shimmers, and I would agree. I think that it's a good multitasker. You're not gonna, well, you probably won't prefer using something as flat as this is for a cream or a liquid. So this is a bit more of a multitasker. It does a beautiful job. It picks up product really well. I do find that there are, um, a bit more tapered hairs on the sides, so you're going to be able to get a bit more product pickup. So here is the difference between the two mini and the 28. So, you know, maybe like little sister, big sister. Now, I will also say I did mention them earlier in the video, but the 13 and the 14 are two brushes that I absolutely love. I would say out of the two of them, I go for the 14 a little bit more just because it is a bit more pointed. So again, here is the 14. This one is great and I will show it to you next to the 14 mini one more time. And also again, the 15 mini. So you can see here that it's just a little bit more tapered and smaller than the 15 mini. Again, just in case the minis aren't available. All right, did I have another brush? Yes, this, now this one is nice if you're looking for a multitasker that can serve as something that you would lay down and really like outline that shape that you want. You can use it for like a nice smudgy uh, lash line. This is the 26 brush. So this is a really big pointed shape. Let me see what Refer describes this as here. They say it is their biggest pencil brush. So this I like just, you know, to be able to like whisk on product really quickly if I just want, like want one blown out look. I really enjoy this. Or again, if you have a very small eye shape or you're looking to get kind of like delicately laid down product before you go in with a bigger brush to blend it out, this is a lovely one. I have a smaller pencil brush that I really enjoy. Let me find the number of it. I literally looked through all of my brushes and I was kind of having a bit of a panic moment because I couldn't find it. So let me find the number on it and I will pop it up here and I will pop the picture up as well, just so that you can see it. So that would be the other pencil brush if you're looking for like a really nice, small, tiny pencil brush. I do think that more brands have started coming out with really tiny pencil brushes, but the Refer one is really lovely. I definitely think like even now, just just like putting this 
uh, 26 on my lash line. It feels very soft and comfortable. Um, and I did have, I just had like a mega, very dramatic eye look on and I just washed it off before I came on because I'd only done it on the one eye. And so this, you know, this skin is just freshly, very well washed. So the skin is probably just a little bit more sensitive and this feels lovely on the skin. That is one thing that I'm finding with pencil brushes. I'm getting very, very picky because I don't want anything that's scratchy in the slightest. Like I don't have time for that. I do not have time for that. I've got 94 pencil brushes and I'm not gonna use the ones that are scratchy. So I'm cutting, I'm cutting that negativity out of my life. <laughs> okay, I think that that's it. I hope that that was helpful. I have a feeling this video is going to be very long as is. Again, I will have all of these products linked down below if you do choose to shop through my link. I will earn a small commission. I really appreciate your support here on my channel. If you have any questions, I will try to do my best as the sale is starting to answer those for you down in the comments below. I love getting to chat brushes, so this is very fun for me. So I hope it was fun for you and I'll see you really soon.